Hey guys, Tivik here, and welcome back to Dwarf Fortress, Glowing Crafts, or Rabrigoth. We are continuing where we left off, where we had... Ooh, look at that, there is a rattlesnake out there, be careful. Um, we had just embarked, and we have this little hole in the ground where we're growing some plump helmets and sweet pods right now. And we have a kitchen, and we have a still. Also, a carpenter workshop. There we go. I'm gonna make a few more beds uh, because we will need some beds for my poor dwarfs to sleep in. Um, we are starting to dig out the fortress itself. There will be doors there and then there will be a stairwell, stairwell down. I think I'm gonna do a ramp and uh, that way we can, if I just dig out an area here, roughly like I'm not gonna dig it out now, but something like that, and we'll make uh, this a channel, or actually something like this, and then this can be a ramp going down. Up here we can put some um, uh, siege engines and stuff like that, and uh, we can make this wall fortification so we can shoot at the enemies that try to attack us. I think that will work out well. Totally untested, I admit, but hey, just gonna have some fun. Oh, sorry about that. Um, so, let's see, where are we? We are in... What date is it? It is... How do you check the date again? It's been ages since I played this game. Uh, it should be somewhere on the announcements. I suppose this is the 14th of Slate. Doesn't it usually... Oh, there we go. 19th of Slate. I'm blind. It's up in the corner. Um, we're going to dig out a small room here. Uh, and make it our temporary dining hall and sleeping hall this we can have four beds and several beds on that side but they're gonna finish digging this out first I'm pretty sure <coughs> sorry about that I do have a bit of a cold but hopefully it shouldn't be too bad it's kind of amazing how well, oh, they're sleeping, how well you remember this game, since it's kind of in your fingers, so I keep pushing the buttons that I know I'm supposed to be using. So, we have a new version of Dwarf Therapist going, uh, it's the 20.1 version, I think, 20.4. Uh, which basically adds a lot more interesting things. Um, it's a bit more polished. You can now see what kind of job they have. This is a planter. We have a hunter and a mason and miner and carpenter. I'm curious about the other jobs, but we'll see. And um, there's some more information to show about each dwarf. I think that was in the previous one. But I do like the top roles. Like, for instance, this guy here. He could be a lord dwarf. Because he's weak, which means that he could probably be a uh, punisher of some kind. A hammerer. He's a farmer because he's a very good one. He can be an architect and fish a dwarf. Miners are good as well. And, uh, well, nurse. Um, so, here's our militia commander. He can be a dodger. And he's also an observer. Which is very good because he will be able to see enemies. Um, gem cutter there. Um... And Carpenter, of course. We can leave him at, leave him at that. So, let's uh, continue. And hopefully my dwarves will wake up. Oh, do we have sand? Is that sand? That's sand! I can make glass pots and stuff. That's very nice. Also, glass traps. It's not a lot of sand, though. But... I'm pretty sure that this embark shouldn't have sand. Oh well, it's a little bit. There we go with that. 
the mason is done, so let's build two doors. Actually, let's make, yeah, two more doors. Now, let's make uh, thrones and tables. Four will do. And we need beds. Like so, and uh, that's good. Now, what is our Mason up to? Um, he's currently building, not that one, he's currently storing items. Uh, there we go. I would like him to build the doors, but that's fine. We can now make this, and uh, we need a door. Okay, so let's uh, get digging on this. Uh, our digger dwarfs are not doing anything. Um, we should start on this. If we start by making an area, I want to put the barracks up here so that uh, it's close to defensive positions. So we're going to have an archery range and a uh, normal barracks. Um, so we're going to leave some space for that. Um, let's build a ramp down here. I'm thinking about four steps down, just going like so, then going like so, then going like so, and finally like so, so we can build like so sort of like a uh, stairway down. Might want to make it a little bit more, but I think that'll do. So let's send them to do some digging here. This will also hold some kind of defensive positions. We're gonna have to be sure to keep our um, a masterpiece. A masterpiece door, you say? Um, let's see. I'm gonna promote this one. Is he that good? Um, wow. Let's just see. Okay. Uh, let's see, we'll place this one there, and this is the masterpiece one. Wow, I'm pretty impressed. We have struck Stibnite, and there is iron. There is iron in our walls which is very nice the question is do we have any coal is that that's all op uh, onyx opals that's good enough I'm thinking we will probably want to make some kind of wall here out here and then kind of around these um, uh, these animal pens so that we can keep enemies out easier our Miners are not very fast, I must say, but they are only novice miners, so... This needs to be further channeled out. And I'll make it possible to go out, but... Hmm... Probably don't want to do that just yet. Okay, so now we have this. Um, let's give it two. And we'll just kind of dig down a few levels here so that we have some vertical space to go on. We found copper. There we go. 
and this one we gave two and then four so this is kind of the main entrance to the base or well I'm curious now how well done are these superior quality exceptional go with the exceptional there but then this one is the most important because now I can make this into a dormitory there we go a dormitory or dormitory oh, I don't know now what do we need next we need I need to set up some smelting here so let's see if I can make a stone stockpile here for hematite and I suppose copper could do we don't know yet what we have okay um, we do need a noble a manager but I think I'm gonna have to wait manager and a bookkeeper but I'm gonna have to wait until after the first migrant wave shouldn't be too far away um, so build two thrones there right in this la layer here let's build a corridor and this is gonna be the main hall so you're gonna step out into the main dining hall I think let's see can I make a cool design out of this um, seven So let's do this. Is this opposite to? Yes, it is. So if this is the main hall, um, I want to go for some kind of like Moria style. So first of all, we'll want to make sure that there is an entrance with doors so that we can, in case of emergency, lock this area which I'm gonna do with a bridge by the way I'm gonna close it off with a sliding bridge so that we can quickly get our dwarfs into safety should we need to also there will be ways up to the upper levels here's what I'm thinking the this level here is where I'm gonna have food and uh, uh, the dining hall and the food production which means there will be way up to this one that way we can close this area off and then there will be further paths down and uh, we'll see what I build I'll be able to reconstruct and deconstruct later should I need to but this should be fine for a main hole let's set up a little bit of a like so so get some pillars going and I should actually make this one more like this it looks a bit strange doesn't it it doesn't have to be perfectly it has to be symmetrical but not perfectly square or anything so we can do a little bit of Let's see if we can make this a hammer it's gonna be a hell to uh, to work with this I can usually use these as the ramps down I suppose 
two ramps down into the living area. Um, yeah, we'll do that. So this is the main hall. We'll have tables, one line of tables there and one line of tables there, and the same on this other side. And that means that there will be kind of a noble's dining area here. Maybe for the king when he arrives. Do we even have a king? We have a king slash weaponsmith. Yeah, could be there. Sort of like a raised area. Let's see, this is symmetrical, is it? Yes. And we'll go with pillars there and there. It's kind of circular area. I kind of like it. Let's uh, dig it out, shall we? Um, but first, on your way down, if you could, please remove these excess ramps. I'd appreciate it. Kind of like this. This will be nice. And then we can have ramps down here, just like we did with the other ones. And I will make this like so. Hmm. Hmm. Let's make it like this and make the ramps go down like that instead. question is, can I fit a row of rooms between here? Yes, I can. But that's a bit of waste of space. We'll see what I do. Maybe I will make this into a wide hall. A bit unsure with this <laughs> part here. I'm not going to do so much building on camera, I think. Unless you guys want it, you might like it. I actually find it kind of interesting just to do this building and planning and thinking out loud. Um, so, they come down there. I put pil pillars there. I'm going to block it off so they don't actually dig down into that area um, and let them carve out this dining hall. Let's see. Is our military doing anything? Oh, I don't remember the schedule. They're supposed to train. Um, um, I can copy and paste that order. And uh, yeah, how do I do this again? Alpha create squad alerts. There we go. I want them to be active. Civilian alert inactive and um, I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> I can't remember. I just want to make sure that my military my military is actually doing something. What is he doing? He's doing nothing. Okay. 
our military dwarf is also our hunter. So, hmm. Yes. Hmm. It's been ages since I did anything. I want to make sure. Ah, there we go. Schedule active. Why did you cancel that? Oh, that's because... What are the other dwarfs doing? Are they sleeping? This will be awesome. Um, I'm gonna see if I can make some kind of... Oh, they're carrying stuff around. We do want to make sure that we have a wheelbarrow or three for that one. Which you can fix. I need to be much better telling them to not haul in case of materials. Gold? Oh, awesome. How's everyone doing here? We have a few jobs. He's training. We can put him to inactive. Just to let him work a little bit. What are you doing? You're storing items. That's good. And we have found tetrahedrite. Down in the wall. And tetrahedrite is uh, the metal of, I can't remember now, is it copper? You find Galena as well, that's the silver and lead one. Could be useful. Right, I want to set up some kind of furnace here. We'll make a... Uh, Wood furnace out of granite. And my these can also be used for defense purposes, but I do wanna cut this part off so it's more straight. I think. Uh, we'll do that later. That's no hurry. Um, let's see. They're almost done digging this area out. Wow. So I'm thinking of an apartment style for the Do I want to go with 2 by 3 rooms? I think that'll be well enough for the small dwarfs. And then just a two wide, and like this. Like so. How many rooms are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So 16 dwarfs in one of these lines. And the same would go actually. Let's not. Let's make it a block. So that this here is actually a path. Okay? So... Just so that we have plenty of room... Uh, 
Um, I'm probably not gonna dig uh, all this out in one. I'm just gonna do like this is faster. Uh, I'm not gonna dig this out at the same time. I'm gonna limit it to certain areas, but I want to have it planned out. So this is 32 dwarfs sleeping area for 32 dwarfs. And the good thing with this is that I can make this a two-level layout just by building stairwells and hatches. Could be cool. Also, with this, I can make a trade depot here or something, I realized. But I'm totally not following my own train of thought here. I'm thinking if we make two sets of these blocks here as our main living quarters. And in each of these, I will be able to fit. Uh, if that's the door, a cabinet, a chest, and a bed, and they will be happy. There we go. Oh, that's a bit too big. Let's see. Like so. And so. Oops. And we can just cut into this. And we're done. Now, these would be the lower dwarves. And of course I would have to make sure that I spend some time... Oh that's nice. That will look nice. Like so. Um, I will have to spend some time making sure that the right dwarves get the correct rooms. And look at this. Beautiful. Now we can step it up. Still with... No, I'm gonna make that three wide. Bigger holes for the for the greater dwarves. Can still be two on that one. Should still be. How many dwarves will fit in this? I don't know, but let's see. This is very compact living, and it will definitely be <laughs> inefficient, I know, but it will look nice. And we will want to put that and that. Something like that. So, it's inefficient as hell, I know, but I'm here to make a nice looking fortress. So we can fit in a total of uh, 64 plus 24. So that's about 100 dwarves. That's good enough. They will be sleeping just below the, the main dining hall. Oh well, they're gonna have to live with that. Alright. I'm not gonna start digging this out for quite some time. Um, I do want to make sure that the wood furnace is being built and a smelter. Make it basalt and then uh, what's the one for the forge? That's a uh, metalsmith forge. Is it a metalsmith forge? Yeah. Iron anvil and granite. Now 
these won't be going until we have a metal smith, and we don't actually have one yet, so... Uh, we have plenty of beds, that's good. But no tables. Can we make this... No. Okay, so they are sitting down to eat. How are my dwarves feeling? They're content, which is good. And my woodcutter has no job. That's not good. Here, go chop down some trees. Do we have anything in our barrels? Oh, I almost forgot. Why didn't you guys tell me? I need to make a refuse pile, or at least somewhere to put all the trash. And I don't want it to be indoors. There are so many problems with that. Um, so I'll... I'll put it here. For reasons which will be known later. Um, so that we can start cleaning up our area so we don't get so much trash in our little... Oh, look at that. So, here we have a lot of plump helmets. We can make some wine. There we go. I do have someone who can do some cooking... Brewing, yes. My, my planter should be able to. And this is going along nicely. Wow, that's going to be a nice pillar once we smooth this out. Perfect. So we won't be able to... Well, once we cut this one... Hmm... Yeah, we won't be able to smooth that out. If I do this, I will be able to, though. And he's now... Summer has arrived, and I think that's a good place for me to stop this episode. Um, in the next one... Oh! Why are you hungry? Oh, that's not the one. Hungry and thirsty. Why aren't you drinking? We have food, don't we? Yeah! You should be eating and drinking. Oh well. Um, as I was saying... In the next episode, we'll see if we can get the furnace and smelters up and running. Hopefully, we'll get a little bit of a migration wave. Uh, hopefully, not too big. But if it's big, we're just going to have to adapt. I will want to make some weaponry so that our military dwarf can actually <laughs> equip something. He has... Does he have anything? I don't think so. Um, can I view him center on the squad? In his inventory he has a copper crossbow, but no... Oh, he has a quiver, but it has no arrows. So he's going to run around and hit people with that crossbow, and we can't have that. We need to make a weapon of some kind, uh, some kind of axe or... Whatever. But that's going to be in the next episode, guys. Hope you enjoyed this one. Take care. Bye-bye.